I guess started with AAU from the time I was probably nine years of age. Uh, came up through the Junior Olympic programming and uh, competed on uh, all different age group level uh, from being a regional champion to national champion in both uh, pentathlon at that time as well as long jump. And so uh, for us, it was, um, well, we didn't know at the time, uh, convenient for us to do AAU from the standpoint of expenses because we were able to drive to the different location un un unless they were like uh, the big national events that uh, we would have to, I, one time I think we were down in, in uh, Miami, you know, and then they had uh, the junior uh, nationals in um, Yakima, Washington. I was 14. Won that a lot of our national championship at that time would take place in Lincoln, Nebraska, you know, and on different uh, university uh, campuses, which allow us to not just experience the the competition, but then also it helped you to set your sights on learning more about what dorm life is like, you, you know, but it was just okay. fun being out of, you know, away during the summer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We always look forward to that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, do you have anyone that you remember running with back then that like you're still in touch with, like, you know, to share memories? Oh, yes. Oh, wow. I, you know, oh, some of what you find that some of your, uh, the teammates or your, well, I guess teammates, you eventually became Olympic champions with them. And, no kidding. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, well, not so much Olympic champion, Olympic teammates, you know, and uh, to be convened against uh, at that time, you know, it was Colin Carroll Lewis, uh, then uh, I think Robin Johnson, and you had to, I mean, it, it was just, and then a lot of um, the pentathletes that, uh, I remember Murder Chester, I mean, just, you know, so many of us that competed on that level that, the Clarks and that we're all still, some, we're still buddies today. That's awesome. Yeah, so relationships through track and field go beyond years. <laughs> e yes, and, and that's, for me, that's what sport was all about is, uh, is you know, more than just an athlete competing, you, you really make uh, lifetime friends, you know, and then when, because when you're younger doing it, you know, it's all about fun and yeah, you win and you're losing, but you're having fun in the process. But then when you start going back and reading some of the news clips and then you realize, oh, so-and-so was in there, that this person was in there. I've had people to send me different things from different AAU stuff with either my name within the article or something, you know, <laughs> like some of the kids who parents that I might have competed against. And, you know, I have someone to send me a uh, oh, one with, uh, Oh, I, I, I'm, I'm going to find it. It's a picture of me long jumping at AAU and when I jumped 21 feet. So that was good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, awesome. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. So then now looking back at, you know, you've got um, a lot of accolades, um, one being greatest track and field athlete in American history, uh, Olympic, your Olympic run, you were James E. Sullivan winner, the Jesse Owens Award. Um, so kind of what advice would you give looking back to like 12 year old Jackie, what would you tell her? You know, if I look back at 12 year old Jackie, it would be to uh, enjoy myself. And that's what I did and uh, uh, continue to be uh, a great listener, you know, be coachable and, and, and be patient, you know, and because uh, a lot of times, even when I was younger, you know, you want things now. <laughs> you know, like, oh, I couldn't wait to jump 21 feet instead of just being patient with it, you know, allowing the process to happen and be a part of the journey and learning from the journey and knowing that uh, through the ups and downs, embrace that because I think that's how you grow and that's how you evolve. And so my 12-year-old self would be like, 
enjoy this journey, but know why I'm on this journey. Mm -hmm. um, and so to take off from that, kind of what did you, what did you learn that you can apply uh, on the track that you can apply to today's life? Like what, what can kids take away from running track and field? You know what, uh, young people can take away from uh, doing track and field, the discipline, uh, setting goals, uh, uh, learning to, um, you build your self-esteem and uh, also working together and being uh, respectful, but being uh, winning and losing a, a light, you know, even through victory that, you know, I always try to stay humble and even in defeat was always gracious. And so even throughout my life, uh, what I've been able to do is um, we develop a, what we call a curriculum around winning in, in life. And it's based off of my experiences of growing up about having confidence. Uh, what do confidence look at different ages? And when do you uh, realize that you lack self-esteem? You know, but, and also understanding uh, what are, uh, what is a risk taking and how do you set goals? How do you make the parallelism to just because you, you're doing something that you love doing, but also learning to respect, learning to be coachable. And to me, it's the same mindset as being teachable, being able to sit in a classroom and take constructive criticism and learn from that. And all these things I feel that I gained from sport uh, to respect other people's time. You know, if the coach is there, no matter how great people say you are, I show up, I'm on time. I'm not running late because someone else is giving up their time to eventually make me great without me knowing that that's what they're trying to do. Excellent, excellent. Um, so then on a, on a broad spectrum, um, what is the importance of youth sports? Like why should youth participate in sports? Uh, I think youth, youth, youth should participate in sports. One, because it, it teaches you a lot about yourself, you know, and it teaches you how to work uh, in different environments. You know, you, you learn about, uh, do you have empathy? You know, and uh, not everyone is going to win, you know, but in the process, you will learn how to be the best. And you're, the best might not be winning, but the best knowing that I gave my best effort. You know, I wasn't holding back. I won this. And, and, and so for me, I think that sports teach, teaches you that. And it teaches you also to give back. Because when you're doing AAU, you know, my, my parents, they want a lot of money, but my parents can't afford it. And having coaches that volunteer, they show up, you know, every day. They show up on the weekend. You know, when my mom or dad didn't have the money for me to eat, they made sure that I ate. You know, even when I said I wasn't hungry, they said, go in there and get something to eat anyway. So it teaches you a lot about volunteerism. It teaches you a lot about wanting to help the next person, not just the you know, because sometimes you look at sports and it's like people look at track and field and they think it's an eye sport, but it's really not an eye sport. It's only eye when the newspapers and all that put you out there by yourself, but it's left up to you to say, no, it's we, because it's, it really is a team effort. Your parents are entrusting people with their young person and that's the coaches and how it all goes together. And you learn from that. Mm -hmm. And what you learn from that, my hope is for myself, that's why I come back and I give back. And so on that, that you know, vein of, of giving back, um, we're learning about, you know, the, this new development program that Coach O is trying to do. Um, it, can you just give me a little bit of insight, like, uh, about what your part is in this? You know, uh, Coach, I, Coach O and I, we just uh, probably brushed the surface. We really haven't talked about the details of it. But uh, for me, I, I'm looking to be an ambassador, to be able to allow people to tap into the knowledge that I have, like I was able to tap into the knowledge of others. How are we able to share uh, best practices or share different things that, uh, that we think that can help a generation of today, but then how you can build on it so it become the standard in a sense. And so for me, I, I, I'm looking forward to this opportunity because you know, I came up through AAU uh, 
to be able to connect and see athletes, not just in track and field. You know, you go to the Nationals, you see them in all sports, you know, and then you, you find out that, wow, when you go eventually get to that next level, that next level, when, I'm, you know, for us, it's like if you can make the Olympic team, and that's like the Olympic Village is just like AAU on a national level, but then on the world level, you know. So it's amazing because you're, you don't know you in the, the midst of uh, greatness around you because we as young people at that time, I know I didn't, I didn't know I could be an Olympic champion. It was the coaches and everyone that saw the potential in me that encouraged me you know, to continue to come every day because I love what I was doing. And hopefully with Coach I, Coach O and I, what we're trying to do that, uh, that can, you know, be transformative in a way that uh, we're building something, on, not building something, but continuing something on the legacy of what AAU is already all about. Love it, love it. Um, so you, you mentioned kind of the, the love of track and field and that, you know, that's kind of what, what gets you going. Like, so, I mean, through four years of the Olympics, I mean, what was your drive to just continue to keep going? You know, my, my drive was that every day I, I showed up to be the best and, and, and the, the motivation was always that I don't put limits to what it is I was trying to achieve. And what I mean by that, you know, because I have people say, well, you may want Olympic team. But I'm like, okay, but I, I still love what I'm doing. So the passion was always there. And, and the drive to get up every morning, to go to practice, you know, to listen to my coaches, to do the things that they were asking me to do. And, but then it comes a time where uh, you get the results on the, on the field. And then a lot of times, then the demands of your time uh, all of a sudden have to be uh, separated in a way. So pulling from you in this direction. So I knew eventually that my community work uh, was always something I was going to continue to be involved with. And, but I, I, so I say that the drive was to love what I was doing, but to be the best, but being the best is knowing that I gave 100% out no matter how great they said I were, every day I came, I, I was being, I could be coach, you know, and I was coachable. And even though my husband was coaching me at that time, and that could have been nerve wracking at time, but I, we, we, you know, we made a great team <laughs> on and off the field, on and off the field. Yeah, I was going to ask, how did that go with, <laughs> with husband coach? <laughs> yeah, you know, you get to that, you know, after your days of AAU and then making Olympic teams and uh, being coached by, you know, I think the greatest coach of all time, Bob Kersey. You know, not only was he coaching me, but he continued to coach at a high level with uh, with young people. And then especially um, uh, always giving girls a place, a place that they feel that they belong. And... Coach Nino Fanoa, when I came up through uh, the summer program, AAU, was that it was a combination of both boys and girls. And then the, uh, even though the, the, the men coach was also coaching girls too, but then they just decided they no longer wanted to coach the girls, so they were going to do away with the programming. And Coach Fanoa said there is a place for girls. And that's how we were able to continue to run through AAU because he was willing to continue uh, – got our PE teachers and they were the female coach. I mean, just people that wanted to believe in girls and give girls a, a place to be able to have fun, but not realize and showcasing our talent, both in track and I also play AAU basketball too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what, yeah. what made you, cause yeah, I, I saw that you played a uh, basketball as well. Like kind of what, took you from basketball to do track? Was it just track what you were, were you better at track? Well, you know, it was, it, it wasn't that I was better in track. I was better in track, but what it was was that, so when you come through a community center and then you formulate uh, a AAU team. And so it's like, oh, okay. I, I know we, we went to, went to Millersville, Georgia and all this, you know, it, it was, 
for young people, for us, it was just an opportunity to be away for the weekend. You know, anything that, <laughs> you know, that would change your regular schedule and, and, you know, and traveling in vans and going to the different meets and, you know, or the different uh, games. And then with the basketball, because most of us who played basketball also either ran track or did softball. And we were all on the same, uh, either we went to the same uh, junior high school, then we all went to the same high school. But then either we all played volleyball together, then we had basketball, and then track and softball overlap. <laughs> um, that's funny that they went from track and field, basketball, and softball. Like that's, you know, different. But see, that's the way set. it was set up in the school system, you know. So some of our girls who were really good softball players, but also with some good runners, but then they like doing the uh, softball, you know, or, and then, you know, they could extend it because then they would have, I guess, summer leagues, you know, they could play the softball in the summer league. But I, I, I think one of the things I love about basketball, even softball, I, I want I want a good softball player. I didn't, I didn't do that well. <laughs> Pray the ball gonna hit me. Oh, I close my eyes, put the hand out there. Oh, ball, please fall in. No, but anyway. <laughs> The, the, the team aspect of it, uh, learning to work together, learning to respect uh, each person's uh, responsibility and, and space, you know, and, and, and these are, I think these are valuable tools that you learn while you're doing sport, you know, that you get life, real life experiences through athletics, you know, you experience so many different emotional uh, like an emotional roller coaster, but you have to figure out how do I get centered? How do I get gather myself? Because I still have a job I got to do. So I think that, you know, sport teaches you all of that. You know, you, you deal with rejection. You know, you deal with guess missing, making the team fourth place. How do you mentally prepare yourself to even come back the following year without giving up? Or I talked to my friends, the rejection of someone, you didn't get this job and you know you're the best person for the job. And I'm like, no, you, you got to stay the course. Don't give up. Don't quit. I say, because you don't know what opportunity is around that corner. And it's the same way in sports. You'll find someone, oh, no, I'm going to go find a new coach. No, stick with this coach. Stick it out. You know, unless, you know, it's something beyond the coaching that you have no control over. But more than likely, if you stick it out, you're going to learn something about yourself. But if you quit today, you're going to be quitting on everything that you do for the rest of your life. I don't care what arena it's going to be. You'll find a way to give up. Couldn't have said it better. <laughs> 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 All right. I just have one more um, question for you. Um, just kind of if you can put it all in a tight little bow for me. What, you know, are you hoping that kids who participate in track and field, you know, walk away with? Um, so once they're done participating, they've done their thing, what do you, what do you hope they walk away with? You know what, I, I hope uh, young people, once they finish competing, <laughs> what they walk away with is that they love what they were doing, they enjoyed it. And then also that they recognize that other people make this possible and how they can come back and give back. 